Imagine, amid all the changes a 16-year-old girl is coping with, imagine going to sleep with your health and waking up with a lot of it gone. Not being able to uh, brush your teeth, you know, simple things like that. That was a big thing. Not even able to brush my hair or wash my hair, bathe myself. Uh, having my mother dress me at 16 was <laughs> embarrassing, to say the least. Rheumatoid arthritis had roared into Natasha Williams' life, seemingly overnight. I was scared, and I kept thinking of how this was going to affect my whole life. I think the most frustrating part about being told you have rheumatoid arthritis is the lifestyle change, that making that transition from I have this temporary setback that I got to have a diagnosis with to now I have a chronic, maybe lifelong disorder um, that I'm going to have to deal with. Over the years, Natasha has taken myriad medicines, some more successful than others. But today, with vigilance from Dr. Cush and her great attitude, Natasha is living life to its fullest. Her life goes on. She has four kids she takes care of. She works. She, she has, uh, she's very involved with her family and her friends and her community. Um, and her arthritis, you wouldn't know uh, she has arthritis based on her activity. I think the best thing I've gotten from him is understanding. I think that he's um, definitely given me that at a, at a very difficult time in my life where I wasn't getting it from anybody else. And that's meant the world. The mantra for the rheumatologist is diagnose early, treat aggressively. And that means usually more than one therapy because there is, there is no one answer to rheumatoid arthritis treatment. Often it requires a combination of medicines to give the best outcomes.